All right, you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. You took the Waymo, now let's see how FSD compares. Yeah, can't wait. Take me to Coit Tower. Wow. So that's all you do, you say where you wanna go, you press the button, one button, and that's it. Yoke. Dude, this is epic. So, do you notice it getting much better? Yeah, I mean, this is the old version. This is 1144. Why do you, like, how old is that? I don't know. A few months old, maybe. But I'm on hardware 4, so this is the latest generation autopilot hardware. Wow. It's significantly faster, but it's also a little bit behind in the software in some ways. That's why I couldn't get the latest one, because this is a new car. Oh, so it's not like you were lazy. It's just like, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, so, I mean... They're gonna send me the latest build when they can, but the car is just too new for that right now. It's not supported by the latest build. So this is actually behind the latest FSD beta, mm -hmm. and it's still pretty damn good. And it's obviously behind V12, which is basically a complete rewrite of the system. Yeah, what's all the hype with V12? They're gonna... I mean, yeah. Because I feel like you always hear like they're rewriting the system. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about software is you can always rewrite the system. You can always think of something better. A lot of people just sort of project linearly. They go, okay, well, this is how, how fast it's been getting better. So this is how fast it's gonna get better in the future. But they forget about these sort of paradigm shifts that happen that can just completely change everything. And end-to-end -end is one of those. I mean, you hear about what Elon was just telling Lex. He's like, we never taught it to read signs. We never taught it to pull over. We never, ta we never taught it to do anything explicitly the way we had to write all this code for planning and control before. We just basically showed it videos and it picked up all the rules of driving just from watching people drive by wow. itself. So this is, you know, like throw away everything you've been working on, all the sort of like finessing with the code, trying to get it to behavior right, just throw that all away. It can actually just figure it out itself trying to teach it how to drive was just the wrong approach. And this might be a new question, but like, how does that work? So how does it know to stop at a stop sign if nobody ever told it that a stop sign means stop? Is it following the humans? Well, it's, or... kind, of, it's kind of like LLMs, right? We were just playing with ChatGPT and you saw how, you know, incredible the capabilities of that thing were, mm -hmm. but it started with a really simple function, which was just given a text, predict the next word yeah and figure out what the likely next word is and all they do is they take the question then they run it through the llm they get the next word then they run it through the llm again they get the next word again and yeah. they just do that over and over and you that's why you see like it kind of looks like it's typing everything out so similarly they start with a really simple function with this thing they say okay just look at all the steering wheel and pedal data we have coming out of the car because in essence, you have all this labeled data from humans. They're all operating the steering wheel and the pedals, like right? intervening every so check, second. So check this out. This guy's stopped. And so it wants to go around him, but it's also being cautious. It sees these guys coming. See how it's proceeding slowly because it sees all of these cars. And that's like a total human move. Like it has to basically decide to well, go wasn't on a, that illegally human. into yeah. the other lane. It could have been more human. Like it did have a kind of sudden yeah. stop there. So this is a really tough intersection to get through. There's a ton of pedestrians here, a ton of cars. Four-way stop. Yeah. And I feel like the, it's funny because people are so nonchalant about the Waymo. Like when yeah. we're in the Waymo, they see nobody's driving <laughs> and they're like, whatever. You know, it's, like it's, it's pretty normal here now. Yeah, it's crazy. People have gotten pretty used to it. So let's see what's gonna happen and you're not here. gonna you're not gonna like juice it because i used to be like if somebody I remember... if somebody behind me starts getting annoyed then i will juice it and but... that means like hit the gas to yeah. basically tell it to go but i'm gonna wait or... and, you know yeah. it there may just never be a chance to go if i don't like give it a little push like you see just how many people are walking and what mode do you have do you have like an aggressive it's mode on, on assertive mode so this is the most assertive setting okay now you got this bus coming this van's behind me Let's see, okay, come on, come on, go for it. Ah. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. And it's got this weird guy, like this guy with like all his gear kind of like almost where yeah. we're supposed to turn. So I feel like that's like. Okay, I'm just maybe gonna give it an accelerator push because otherwise it'll never go. Yeah. 
So, uh, like, the Waymo with no one in it was, was thank you for getting us that. That yeah. was crazy. Um, but, like, how does that... Yeah. But, but how does that, like... How does the Waymo... Are they allowed to have nobody in the car and it operate? Like, you know? Well, the primary advantage that's different from this is mapping. So mm -hmm. they have everything mapped. When you see the visualization in the Waymo, it's actually not coming all from the perception system. A lot of it's already pre-mapped. So they're able to do that. They're able to take all the LiDAR sensors and they're able to actually localize the position of the car to centimeter level accuracy, much better than GPS can give you. So they know exactly where the car is. They know exactly where all the lane lines are. And they basically just don't go anywhere where they know they have an issue. And so... Interesting. So that's why it like didn't drop us off right where we wanted to go? Exactly. You had to walk a couple minutes afterwards because it, w it wouldn't go exactly 100% of the way there. But that's the advantage of this thing is this is like a pure AI system. There's no mapping here other than just like normal street maps. Mm -hmm. It's just basically driving with computer vision, just taking the cameras as inputs and driving based on that. But if I was going to give like a devil's advocate hot take there, it's like, why is Tesla so picky about making it cameras only? Mm. And then like from on some respects from the user experience that appears to be suffering. Like, is that a cost thing? Like, whoa, that was, that was crazy. But you know what I mean? Like, do you think, do you think Tesla's move to be so like, mm. we're only using cameras will eventually like, is that going to pay off to be the hundred percent right move? Yeah. Because if you think about it, if, there's something that you don't need on the car to actually achieve autonomy mm -hmm. and you have it, then you're just like raising the cost of autonomy for no reason. Like you can always add that on as an extra benefit, but it's ultimately going to come down to unit economics like anything else. If I'm going to use the service, I want it to have a low wait time. If I want it to have a low wait time, there needs to be a lot of cars. And if there needs to be a lot of cars, I need to be able to mass produce them at a low cost and get a ton of them out onto the street yep. so the service can actually work. If you're acquiring people... Oh, Dang, holy shit. We just blew through that stoplight? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> holy fuck. Dude, you remember when we did our last video like this and they had all the articles that got written about like how <laughs> shitty... like. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> like that's crazy. Dude, that me, like, was I was freaked. I was a little freaked out right there. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that wasn't good. Uh, holy shit! What's going on here? This is not good. Uh, wow, this is crazy. All right, hold on a second. Let me look at the cameras. What do you mean? You think we gotta like pull over? No, I just want to look. Maybe their cameras are like dirty or something because it's driving kind of shitty. Interesting. Is that, have you, 